Hello there. My name is Drew, and here we are at the Goulet Pen Company, and we've got some new stuff to talk about this week, the week of April 17th, and we're going to start with the new 2023 Special Edition ink from Petal Pel Petalkin Edelstein. Pelican Edelstein. It is rose quartz. It is a very lovely, true rose color, a very nicely shading pink. I got the opportunity to write with this and it is a very, very pleasant shade and it shades very well. You do get tones of darker pink and lighter pink where your ink pools and where your stroke ends and lifts. It's a really nice ink to write with and usually Pelican's Edelstein annual inks end up being the more popular inks of the year for this line. So definitely check it out. Um, you'll know pretty quickly if it rings your bell. I certainly enjoy it and uh, it's available now. So this one is selling for $29.60. There you have it. Edelstein Rose Quartz. A fun and unique product that came our way uh, is coming to us from Estabrook in the form of two butterflies. Now these are book holders. They keep your book open if you've got one of those not so lay flat books. And um, these tines here in the back slide onto the book. The wings of the butterfly are, you know, spread nicely so that they keep your pages down flat. And we have had some things like this in the past. We've had an Estabrook nib book holder and we've also had a B book holder. These are a little bit different, a little bit more expensive too. At $50, they're a little more up there, but they are enameled in a way that the previous ones weren't. So you do get a lot more in the terms of just aesthetic value and look. Like you can see that these are really intricate in terms of you know how the uh, enamel goes on there. They're not just flat colors. They do have some detail. They're really lovely though. They are effective and um, they're, they've got a solid backing too. So they're not just hollow on the back. They do look really nice and they feel well made. So they're a practical addition and they look nice as well. If you want to pick one of those up, they're available now, 50 bucks a piece. And like I said, we've got the two colors. I'm really excited to talk about this one because it is a new exclusive from Bennu in the refreshment collection, which has been our exclusive line for a little while. We've done various different delicious beverage themes. This one is called the Watermelon Mojito, and it is very watermelony. I want to take a look at this a little closer. The shine here that you'll get in the center band and in the grip section is really special. Like, it just pops. And then there's a depth here as well to the pink parts of the pen that also have a richness to them. It's a really lovely pen and I didn't expect to like this as much as I do, but I really do. Like look at the depth of that pink. There's a lot going on there. It really does kind of have a watermelon texture to it, visually anyway. Physically it's very smooth. You can't feel any of this. The Watermelon Mojito is exclusive to the Goulet Pen Company and it is available now for $149. Steel nib, cartridge converter, um, and it does indeed post. So uh, yeah, steel nib, um, German Schmidt nib. So solid performance there. You've got a larger grip section so you can choke up on it a little bit without it feeling too bad. The threads are very flat plastic threads so they're not sharp at all. So personally, I hold my pen up a little high and that feels really good to me. So it works for me. You decide if it works for you, but it's there if you need it. All right, next up is a bunch of sailors. So all of these sailor pens come from the same collection. This collection is called the Solar Term Collection. So all of these are going to be named after some sort of equinoxy uh, seasonal situation. So we're going to go through them now. Okay, so the first one we're going to start off with is the Fuki pen. Taking a look at this one, according to Sailor, now I'm going to read this here, Fuki honors the vernal equinox with a shimmering, hopeful, light green body and soft khaki colored finials that bring you, that bring to mind uh, budding plants. 
So there you go. That's what that brings to mind. And in case you were wondering what was in your mind, now you know. Budding plants. So all of these are the Pro Gear Slim models. They were cartridge converter pens. And since they are the Pro Gear Slims, they will come equipped with Sailor's 14 karat gold nibs and a very enjoyable writing experience. Moving on to Yuzuyu. Yuzuyu, the essence of a Yuzu citrus bath, a remedy said to ward off colds during the winter season with a freshwater blue barrel set against Yuzu yellow finials. All right, Hagi is up next. And according to Sailor, Hagi captures the spirit of the autumnal equinox with colors inspired by the autumn bush clover, a shimmering soft petal pink capped by seafoam green finials. And then finally, Taco represents the summer solstice with a shimmering faded rose barrel complemented by cream finials inspired by the octopus traditionally eaten on this day in hopes of an abundant growing season. So if you're a fan of seafood, this is the pen you've been waiting for. So these are the Solar Term series from Sailor in the Pro Gear Slim model, 14 karat gold nib cartridge converter, and they are available now at $236 per pen. Next up is a pen from Platinum. And I saved, and I didn't unbox this one because I wanted to show you exactly what's going on here. It's a really delightful box situation. So you've got your pen, You've got your converter, your cartridge, and a free bottle of ink all packaged up in a really nicely presented situation. But let's take a look at the pen. So this is the Platinum 3776 Century Shape of Heart in ivory. And we have had a Shape of Heart pen before in black. This one's a little bit more unique though, because not only is it a new color, but the texture on this pen is a white is a matte not quite pearlescent white but also not a super flat white either it feels really nice to the touch uh, it's not something i often see with the 3776 model normally they're pretty well polished so this one strikes me as unique the most unique thing of course um, being the second in the shape of heart series as far as i know is the finial you'll notice that the finial is full of crystals. And within those crystals, there will be two gold hearts. I don't know if we're going to be able to find them. Oh, there's one right there. Right there toward the bottom. Do you see that? It's a little hard to see, but there it is. That little gold heart. And that heart originates from the nib itself. You'll see that it is missing a little heart shape. So traditionally, the platinum nibs in the 3776 have had a heart-shaped breather hole. And in the factory, that gets punched out. And then, of course, they recycle the gold to make more gold nibs. With the Shape of Heart series, they leave those hearts extracted and put them in the finial and mix them up amongst the crystals. So that is a nice touch. The missing heart is no longer missing. And you'll find two of them in here. So even if you do have a difficult time finding them, one will usually be available. And of course, you can give it a little shake to mix things up a bit. But the pen itself is a traditional 3776 model. The grip is the only thing that is not matte. So it's hard to see here, but the barrel and the cap are completely matte but the grip is actually polished. So if you don't think the matte feeling will, you know, make your fingers happy, you don't have to worry about that. And of course, another fun fact about the cap is that 
it will feature Platinum's slip and seal cap. That inner cap in there is spring loaded so that when your pen goes down onto it, it creates a bit of a pushback and seals your pen really, really well. Platinum is famous for this. You can feel it actually when you push your pen in and begin to thread it, right about there, you meet some resistance. And then you turn it a little bit more and you feel that cap engage and that spring tension resists a little bit and you can feel that solid connection being made. So the 14 karat gold nib platinum 3776 shape of heart ivory fountain pen, which is a cartridge converter pen, by the way, will be selling for $450. It's available now. And again, comes with a bunch of cool stuff. Okay, so the next two pens I'm going to mention are not out and available yet at the time of this recording, though they very well may be by the time this video publishes. But I looked at the release calendar for next week and it's pretty crazy, so I wanna do another one of these next week. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and mention these now so that uh, you've gotta jump on them. Let's stay with Sailor because we've got two new exclusive Sailor pens to talk to you about. And uh, when I say two, I mean, it's the same looking pen, different models, but the Pro Gear and Pro Gear Slim are now available in Northern Lights Blue, which is a spiritual successor to our Northern Lights Purple from a couple years ago. That one did really well, and we thought that you might like this one too. So let's take a look. Um, here I've got the larger Pro Gear model which is going to be selling for $440 with a 21 karat nib. It's little brother is going to be selling for $312 and has a 14 karat gold nib. So both have green accents with a blue primary situation. Both are cartridge converter pens. So it'll take the uh, proprietary sailor converter or a proprietary sailor cartridge, both of which are included. We're really excited about these. I think the blue and the green are quite striking. One of my favorite parts about this um, exclusive though is that we are getting an exclusive uh, sticker available to you with the purchase of every one of these by the uh, artist Talis Medeiros. Uh, he did a great job in capturing the pen itself with a polar bear on a little excursion to find the Northern Lights. These will not be available separately. They will just be available with the pen, but um, it's pretty awesome. So. You get this if you get a pen. And finally, I wanted to open up an Aurora pen today. The boxing is really cool on this one. This is called the Burano. Inside the box, even after you take the box out of the box, there's also an ink in there. But the pen itself is worth talking about because, well, the box itself, I mean, is worth showing because it is a very, very sleek box situation. It is a lacquered wood box, very substantial in terms of weight, very polished, very beautiful, very shiny. It has a metal clasp, beautiful hinges, and just overall the presentation of this is really, really nice. So this is an 888. It is available in 888 pieces worldwide. And it is a really fun acrylic. Slightly translucent in areas, shows off a ton of depth and color. And you'll see the center band, made in Italy, Aurora, trademark cap, the number out of 888 up at the top. You've got an ink window. It is a piston pen, internal piston. So there you go. See it moving up and down there. And then a rhodium plated 18 karat gold nib in the very recognizable Aurora imprint. You can also see their in house made ebonite feeds with the uh, nib size stamped on the feed itself, which is very uncommon. Usually you see the nib imprinted, so this is something that's pretty special with Aurora. And they make all these in-house. So Aurora in Italy, in Torino specifically, uh, they manufacture this entire pen right there in their factory. And that is not often something that you'll find in any fountain pen brand. It's rare that pen companies 
um, make absolutely everything in-house. There are some larger companies, of course, Lamine Pilot, but Aurora is a relatively small company compared to those two and um, in Italy, and they do all of it, you know, in this pen anyway, um, completely in-house. So that's pretty special. So when you hold this pen, you're holding something that is very, very specifically Aurora. This will be available either now or in a few days at $805, and it will be a limited edition. Either way, you might want to check more of our photos online of any of these. We've got a lot more images on our store for you, including weights and measurements and um, uh, demonstrations of all of their nib sizes as well. So anything you see here writing-wise um, or ink-wise, you know, we've got that all on paper for you to see actually how it looks. So thank you for joining me. I hope you had a good time. It's always a pleasure for me. I'll see you next week.